I'm not advocating we need more scientists. We need a general population that's a lot more scientifically literate, and uh, you're at the, uh, in the starting blocks on that. So congratulations. I wish you every success with your conference today. I hope you have a great time visiting the, uh, the uh, BD uh, Biodiversity Museum, and uh, enjoy your visit here. Thank you very much. Children are enamored with science when they're young because they're very good at asking questions. Asking questions is a good thing. What science does is it allows us to ask the right questions. So I just want to ask a quick question as well. Um, is everybody a teacher here? Yes. Yeah. Candidate. Teacher candidate? Okay, great. <laughs> and what, uh, what ages are you looking at? Thank you all for coming to the first ever Canadian Children's Science Writers Festival. I am the president of Quill, the Children's Writers and Illustrators of BC, and we have 160 members across this province, and together we have had published over 2,000 books. By being here, your registration is supporting the work of the Canadian Children's Book Centre. It's a non-profit organization that is devoted to promoting the works of Canadian authors and illustrators, and it's determined to ensure that Canadian children read Canadian books. I had forest fires, I had explosions, I had arsonists. I started thinking, how am I gonna get the girl readers? Because as a child, I wouldn't be reading science books. I was the one off in the corner reading the Babysitter's Club. So how am I going to get the attention of a young me? One of the Trivial Pursuit questions would be, what's the connection between calculus and life insurance? And I'm an astrophysicist, so I can also make a physics Trivial Pursuit question. What's the connection between gravity and life insurance? And not the obvious connection between gravity and life insurance. <laughs> you know, the... Uh, Oh, <laughs> the dangers of global warming, apparently. And jaw-dropping information about the insect world around us, the Insectophiles puts a whole new spin on scientific discovery for kids. So the more you can talk, as we've heard today, about some of the process, I think, the more you keep the wonder in it. Um, other questions? What I do is try and define what the habitat is in about three sentences. So there you have the definition of the rainforest. I thank you all for your willingness to come and answer questions and read through your books. It's been an incredibly both entertaining and educating morning for me and I, I think probably for all of us here. <laughs>